I'm interested in, in the use of time travel, wormholes theoretically, to probe the nature of reality. We would like to probe the laws of physics through a combination of experiment and theory. But there are areas where the experiment is so challenging we can't do it with the human technology in this century. And wormholes and some aspects of the nature of space are in that domain, predictions about them. And so thought experiments Einstein taught us are a powerful tool for probing the nature of physics. You just ask, could in principle and our infinitely advanced civilization, could such a civilization build a wormhole to travel from here to another galaxy? And when you ask that kind of a question, you then go into the laws of physics and you probe it mathematically, geometrically in the laws of physics, and it teaches you a lot about the nature of space and time. How, how might that work uh, conceptually from the laws of physics? The, the warping of space in a wormhole uh, it's so intense, it's, it's like the warping of space in a stretched uh, rubber mem membrane. Uh, it wants to shrink, and the wormhole wants to shrink and pinch off, so you, when you try to travel through, you die. And so, can, can they be held open? How do you hold them open? And so we then, in this way, discovered intimate relationship between the nature of energy and tensions on one hand, and uh, the nature of warping of space on another hand. Now how does that relate to time and the possibility of time travel in either direction to the future or to the past? If you have wormholes, then if you move the mouth of one wormhole uh, down near the surface of a black hole, time flows very slowly oh. there <coughs> compared to the rate of flow of time back here on Earth. Uh, okay. and so. Uh, the two mouths get out of sync. The mouth of the wormhole sits down near the surface of the black hole, and it sits there uh, with only a few hours passing, uh -huh. while up here on Earth, a billion years pass. And so we on Earth can then go down through the wormhole and can come out near the surface of the black hole a billion years earlier. <laughs> we can then come out and go back up in the, the external universe a billion years earlier than we went down. So if you have wormholes, there's a natural way to make a time machine. So this was wonderful when, when uh, my students and I discovered this. I was very excited. Uh, but then probing more deeply and talking with uh, other colleagues, uh, uh, I was forced to realize that there's a universal mechanism that when you're trying to turn a wormhole into a time machine in this way, a universal mechanism that always creates a violent explosion that very likely destroys the wormhole right at the moment when it begins to, uh, to make time travel possible. And so time machines, if you try to create them, appear to self-destruct. We simply do not have the understanding of the laws of physics to be able to speculate about that quantitatively yet. We have to have a much deeper understanding of quantum gravity to get the answer, whether that's possible.